All right, just taking a quick look at this new Jackery 700 Plus. <laughs> this is an all new model. Well, it, it, it's kind of an all new model. It's basically using the same case as the 1000 Pro. Not the 1000 Plus, but the 1000 Pro. And so this is something interesting. You know, if you're looking at getting the smaller Jackery, you might want to take a look at this thing, especially considering the price on this thing. Holy cow. So, um, so yeah, if you're looking at getting like a Jackery 500 or a Jackery 300 even, you might want to take a look at this because it's still small, lightweight. You know, we'll talk about all the specs here and we'll do a comparison to the 1000 Pro as well since it's using the same case because a lot of the specs are the same, a lot of them are different. And yeah, especially if you're looking at the Jackery 500, like don't buy that model. That's by far the oldest model that Jackery is selling. This new one just blows it out of the water, basically, and it's not much bigger. So, yeah, as I mentioned, this is an LFP version, basically, of the 1000 Pro, which is about a 1,000 watt-hour NMC battery power station, right? So, this one gets the LFP batteries in a lot less capacity, right? This is actually not even 700. It's actually 681 watt-hours, right? <laughs> and, uh, and why is this? Of course, because LFP battery cells are much larger, right they just have less energy density nmc cells you know smaller so that's the reason <laughs> you know now a few things to note about this since they're using this same case from the 1000 pro which is an older model they've actually the newer models like the 1000 plus they've actually gotten rid of these rubber covers right which i've talked about which i'm just i'm kind of glad to see they got rid of them so you are going to have to deal with that on this uh this new 700 plus but the benefit of this design is we do get those little exposed screws that I really like. And here, it's just a nice little design detail. Makes these things look really well built. And we do get the same inverter. So 1,000 watt continuous, 2,000 watt surge on that. Now, as I've talked about, you can kind of do a lot still with this inverter if you get the right size appliance. Like they show down here, electric cooker, 900 watts. Yeah, you're going to want to look for, for things that are about around 900 watts. If you want to heat up uh, water, a coffee maker, a hot plate you want to cook with, look for something that's around 900 watts. And the advantage of having a smaller inverter like this is, you know, if you do get the right appliances, you still get the capability, but you're going to use a lot less power, right? Just when this inverter's on, you know, it's going to use the, the power draw of the inverter itself is just going to be a lot less. You know, a lot of people, they want a power station with a 3,000 watt inverter, 4,000 watt inverter, right? But guess what? You're going to be using a ton of power, something like 50 watts or something like that, just having the inverter on, not even powering anything. So that's the appeal with going this route. So while the inverter is the same as the 1000 Pro, the charging is not. <laughs> so it's basically about half what the 1000 Pro can do. Now the wall charge is, you know, the amount of time it takes is about the same because this battery is so much smaller, right? But the solar is kind of the big comparison here. It's basically half. <laughs> so the 1000 Pro could actually do four 200 watt panels. Whereas they're saying here, for 100 watt panels right so the input on this you know the voltage range is the same as all the other kind of th these newer jackeries right it's 11 to 60 volts you can you know that's still pretty decent but the thing is there's a cap of 200 watts per input okay so you know this model like all the other jackery pro and plus models has those dual inputs which i really like because it gives you some flexibility right you can have two different sources charging this thing at the same time, or you can just double up solar. Um, but yeah, so 200 watt cap on each input, you know, for a total of 400 watts. So, you know, in this size battery, that's actually pretty good, but the 1000 Pro could do 800 watts, <laughs> right? So yeah, big time solar on that thing for, for a small portable unit, right? So 400 watts on each input. But this unit does get the Jackery app. So that's something the 1000 Pro model does not have. And look at this, 22 pounds on this thing. So this thing is actually lighter than the 1000 Pro. Uh, that was about 25 pounds. In fact, 22 pounds is exactly what the original Jackery 1000 weighed. So yeah, you know, very lightweight, very portable. And still, you can do a lot with this thing, but you're going to have to make sure you have a way to recharge this thing, right? I mean, you know, less than 700 watt hours on this thing. But yeah, 400 watts of solar, that would, that would kind of do the trick. So if you've been looking for a smaller Jackery with an LFP battery that still has good capability, this is, I mean, this is what you've been waiting for, basically. And as you can see here, you know, basically just a, a recap, a direct comparison against the 1000 Pro. And remember, the 1000 Pro is different from the 1000 Plus. 
<laughs> I still think, you know, if you want something that's going to just, you know, basically power everything, give you everything in one unit, the, the larger 1000 plus model has everything you could ever ask for. But still, you know, if you, if you want to, if you want to go down the more portable, smaller route, and like I said, especially at this price, and especially if you're looking at some of those other smaller Jackeries, just take a look at this one, basically. Um, it still has a lot of benefits, and I love small portable power stations, right? Portable power station, that's the name. So yeah, hopefully you just kind of found this helpful, interesting. Yeah, thanks for watching.